and different strokes for different folks, you know. And my dad, uh, he was really into football for a while, and uh, the football did well for him until his uh, racism caught up to him when uh, Big Manu Manu the Slender knocked his face mask off when it was uh, versus Texas State University and my dad was never the same since then but uh, based on the footage you can't dispute why <laughs> Yeah, football, tennis, basketball. Yeah, he was a big all-star. Yeah, he played everything. Letter and everything. Yeah. But I'll tell you what he did letter in. Racism. Because he was a racist. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Bob told me right out of high school that we were both going to go to war. We were both going to celebrate and just exploit freedom for the United States. So I, I agreed, and uh, I, I thought that it was going to be a great thing. And then uh, I signed up, and, uh, well, Bob did. You know what Bob did? This is what Bob was doing as I was on the front line fighting for my life, wondering, where's Bob? All I know is my father did not go to Vietnam. So after, I guess, my dad skipped out on the... Uh, the Vietnam, he decided he was going to become a writer, and, uh, and uh, he, 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 he did what he needed to do, and, but he sent it in to the publishers, and they were none too pleased with what they had to say. Robert Kirsch sent in his manuscripts to the publishing house. Um, I do have to say that everyone in the office was quite disturbed. Um, random acts of sex and violence and sodomizing and we couldn't get past the second page without freaking out. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't ever read anything that Robert Kirsch has written. <laughs> My dad got a job in the healthcare and um, I don't know, years after Electroshock was discredited as something that could not happen, my dad was still doing it. I don't know if he did it for the sick pleasure or what, but um, I don't know why he's into healthcare. But the sadder part is, I think I do know why he's into healthcare. <laughs> I remember when my dad did the gully, and uh, I don't know, he fell off the trail, and I don't know what
Now, let me tell you something about Bob Kirsch. Bob Kirsch was a, uh, how do I put this, uh, racist. My dad was not racist. Absolutely not. One thing I'm sure of, my dad was not racist. <laughs> What's wrong underwear? Bob Kirsch, not a racist. He killed my dog, though. <laughs>